Now we're just hours away from the start of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. No Vicna there. Uh, and events have been organised across the UK and Commonwealth as Her Majesty marks 70 years on the throne. Monique Wright is in London. More on excitement certainly building. Koshi and Matt, there is actually a genuine feeling of excitement in the air here now. Everything in London looks beautiful. There are already people that are camped outside Buckingham Palace. They're wanting to get the best possible view of the massive parade that is planned for the Queen. That starts in just a couple of hours. Now, that event just kicks off a massive weekend of celebrations here in London and right across the UK. And we now have your ultimate guide on what to expect. It's set to be the UK's biggest event ever. This could be one of the last times that many Britons around the country and indeed people across the world will see her in such an awe-inspiring fashion. Four days of celebrations will mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. For Donna and Mary Jane, that party has already started. They met at William and Kate's wedding, now lifelong friends united in their love for the royals, the Queen in particular. We want the Queen to feel the love and we just, you know, we respect her so much that we just want to be a part of it. Donna has come all the way from the United States for this. How are you going to sleep? In here, my little princess tent. They're camping outside Buckingham Palace gates for five cold nights. Are you mad? Um, some people think so, <laughs> but I just think I have a passion and a love for our royal family, particularly the Queen. All worth it, they say, to show Her Majesty what she means to them. There's only been eight queens, you know, in, in this country, and she's probably going to go down as the best. The celebrations officially start tonight. It costs millions and millions of dollars and, um, to actually achieve this, so there's been investment uh, and finance been talked about for the last two or three years, actually. Kicking things off, the Queen's official birthday parade. Thousands will line the streets with flags as the procession moves from Buckingham Palace down the mall to horse guards. Members of the royal family will be on horseback and in carriages. The royals will then return to the palace for the RAF flyover, which they will watch from the balcony. We're going to see the line of succession, certainly, from her to Charles to William, and Prince George is also going to be present on the balcony. And I think for Britons, it's going to be a really pivotal moment. There is a recognition now of a passing of a baton. At night, 3,000 beacons will be lit across the UK and Commonwealth. A sculpture made of 350 British native trees in pots will serve as the principal beacon outside the palace, a nod to the royal family's commitment to environmental causes. On Friday, St Paul's Cathedral will hold a special service to mark Her Majesty's 70-year reign. On Saturday, the Queen will have a horse running at the Derby at Epsom Downs, but won't be attending in person. It's understood Her Majesty will instead meet her great-granddaughter Lilibet for the first time, before the biggest party in the UK's history. They're actually doing sound checks right now, not on one stage, but three stages, which creates a 360-degree experience. And there are 70 illuminated columns to represent each year of the Queen's reign. Queen, Adam Lambert, Alicia Keys, Duran Duran, Diana Ross and more. They'll all perform in front of a huge crowd of 22,000 people, including 10,000 allocated in a public ballot and 5,000 tickets for key workers. There's a security that's huge that has to go and do, be involved in this because if you think about it, all the visiting um, members of the royal family plus other people that will be there of important dignitaries, that in itself is a, a massive task. On Sunday, communities will come together to host big Jubilee lunches. All across the country, there'll be little street parties where they block the street off, big table down the, down the street, and the kids and the pink kids in the street, and everyone in the street can enjoy a, a party together. The final day culminates with the Platinum Jubilee pageant, a three-kilometre carnival procession featuring a cast of thousands, including puppets, celebrities and tributes to the seven decades of the Queen's reign. The bells of Westminster Abbey will chime to mark the start of the event. People are flying in from all over the world to take part. It means they're not able to do a dress rehearsal. So what we see on the day is pretty much going to be everybody winging it. As the Queen's Gold State coach moves through central London, meeting Her Majesty at the end of the parade will be none other than Ed Sheeran, who will sing the national anthem and some of his own hits. In the Queen's own words... 
I hope my Platinum Jubilee will be an opportunity for people everywhere to enjoy a sense of togetherness, a chance to give thanks for the enormous changes of the last 70 years, and also to look ahead with confidence. And her message is already getting through. And it doesn't cost nothing just to party on. Happy Oh, it's going to be oh, great. Good. And we will have every moment of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee live from London right here on Sunrise. And the Jubilee concert will air in full on the Seven Network on Sunday night at 7pm. It's going to be a beauty, by the look of it. Yeah, really special. Yeah.